Plant Propagation Multiplication of plants through natural or artificial means Methods of plant propagation 1. Sexual propagation Multiplication of plants through seeds or spores 2. Asexual or vegetative propagation Multiplication of plants using buds, stems, roots, and other vegetative parts usually employing methods such as marcotting, grafting, budding, and inarching Methods of Asexual Propagation Grafting The process of joining together the rootstock and the scion until permanently united. Planting materials needed Healthy rootstock Grafting tape Plastic wrapper Chico scion Budding knife And pruning shear Procedure Step 1. Select a healthy rootstock with pencil size stem. Step 2. Select quality and healthy scions with dormant buds from mature fruit trees with known superior characteristics. The scions must be about the same size as the stem of the rootstock. Step 3. Using a sharp budding knife, remove one half inch of the bottom part of the scion. Step 4. Make a clean diagonal cut on both sides of the scion producing a wedge shape cut. Step 5. Make a cut on the rootstock, leaving a stem of at least one foot high. From about one foot high of the rootstock stem, Make a vertical clean slice proportionate to the length of the scion wedge cut, about one half inch. Step 6. Carefully insert the cut end of the scion into the rootstock. And secure the graft with a grafting tape. Then insert a plastic wrapper into the new graft to protect it from adverse weather conditions and to conserve moisture. Step 7. Remove the plastic wrapper as soon as the bud from the graft starts to grow or emerge. Allow the graft to fully develop and unite until the leaves are fully mature. Step 8. Remove the plastic tie to prevent misshapen union. Marcotting is the process of including the branch or stem to produce roots while still attached to the parent plant. Planting materials needed Healthy mother plant Plastic wrapper, sphagnum moss, budding knife, plastic twine, and pruning shear. Procedure Step 1. With a sharp knife, make two parallel cuts about an inch or more around the stem and through the bark and cambium layer. Step 2. Connect the two parallel cuts with one long cut. Remove totally the cambium layer around the cut stem. Remove the ring bark, leaving the inner woody tissue exposed. Step 3. Totally scrape the cambium layer on the newly bared ring to prevent a bridge of callus tissue from forming. 
Step 4. Wrap the moss with plastic and hold in place by securing a tie or tape on both ends. Step 5. Cover the wound with a handful of moist sphagnum moss or rooting medium. Apply rooting hormone if available before wrapping the cut to promote rooting. Budding is a modification of grafting wherein a single bud is attached to the rootstock. Materials needed 1. Healthy rootstock 2. Buds ticks 3. Pruning shear 4. Budding knife 5. Plastic wrapper 6. Budding tape Procedure Step 1. Choose a rootstock with pencil size stem or at least one half inch in diameter. Step 2. Cut bud sticks from shoots with mature buds that are slightly brown. Step 3. On the rootstock, about 15 to 30 centimeters from the base of the seedling, make a T cut across the bark. With a budding knife blade, lift the corners and carefully loosen the bark. Step 4. Cut a healthy bud from the bud stick which include a thin piece of attached wood. Step 5. Slide the bud under the flaps of the bark on the rootstock until the ends are firmly under the bark. Tape, tie the bud firmly to the rootstock. Wrap the ends tightly, but be sure not to cover the bud with tape. Step 7. After 2 to 3 weeks, cut the plastic tie to prevent girdling on the growing bud. Cut the rootstock off above the growing bud. Remove all growth below and above the newly growing buds. In arching, the joining together of the rootstock to a branch of a mature fruit bearing tree or mother plant until permanently united. Planting materials needed. Healthy rootstock. Rubber. Budding knife plastic twine, and pruning shear. Procedure Step 1. Select an actively growing stock. Cut a longitudinal section about 4 to 5 cm long and about half its thickness. Step 2. Make a similar cut on the scion then fit together. Step 3. Join the rootstock and the wounded mature branch with a tie firmly with a rubber or a plastic twine.
Step 4. Scion secure tightly to the rootstock with a rubber or plastic twine.